Hi, I'm Mark Doherty, and uh, I'm here to talk about the track Saying Goodbye from my new album, Reckless Abandon. <laughs> The meaning behind saying goodbye, I guess it's a few different things. I wrote it around a time in my life where I was leaving London to move back up north. I was leaving a job that I'd had for eight years and I was also finishing the band I'd been in for the past three years. So a lot of things were changing and I think um, this song was my way of coping with that and the certain catharsis that come from you know, drawing a line under different parts of your life. And, looking forward into the future. When you're just in that moment of, okay, yeah, I'm doing this, I'm, I'm taking a risk, I am saying goodbye to the life that I knew and embarking on a new adventure. And that's why I think I've heard feedback that the chorus is a little melancholic and um, that is intentional because, you know, while it's positive that you're taking these positive strides forward in life, it's scary, it's anxious. Um, so I wanted to try and capture both the empowering nature of saying goodbye to different aspects of your life and uh, you know the nervousness that comes with that. The writing of uh, saying goodbye um, took a little longer than I'd have liked but that was because this is my first solo album so I was just trying to work out you know what it should sound like, what, um, what instrument should I use, how should I structure it. Um, but essentially it all started around B minor and it just started off with a really simple bray flow and then I took that, based the vocal melody on that and uh, I made a rule on myself for this album the temptation I've had um, in my previous bands is to sort of write in logic and to jump into the production straight away and what I found from that was I was repeating the same tricks, I was just doing, you know, paint by numbers essentially. So I made a point of writing it all down in a notepad, um, getting the chords there, making demos on my phone, like how I used to when I first started writing songs, and then uh, making sure that you could play it as an acoustic song, and then taking that song that works in that format and transposing it into a more of an electronic genre. When it comes to selecting tones for saying goodbye, I'm really drawn in by the old 60s surf tone. I actually got um, a Fender Jaguar for my birthday, um, for my 30th, and I've been obsessed with it. I'm trying to capture those like old surf tones of those 60s groups, so that was kind of my jumping off point for that simple B minor riff I just talked about. I just love letting it ring out. hear like the plastic fragility of the guitar and coming out with some rhythm to give it some depth the bass that drives it a very simple garagey floor and floor kick as it's all myself recording this um, I had to find innovative ways to try and keep the vocals a bit interesting. So there's a lot of double, double tracking through my work. Um, mainly that's because one, I'm a big fan of the Beatles and Nirvana, and two, because um, I've, I've never been overly confident in my voice, and I find double tracking really helps, you know, thicken up the parts that might be a bit lackluster otherwise. So let's just hear a bit of that. I'm saying goodbye. Say so there's not much, we've got the lead there, and then just the low guy underneath, just giving it the first depth. While I've established this kind of nice, you know, positivity about saying goodbye to party life, here comes the anxiety. I really wanted to get like a really nice raw tone, very Jack Whitey. I make no apologies for that, love the guy. 
but then mix it again with this kind of surfy backing track. Thanks for listening uh, about how um, you know the process of saying goodbye came to be. I hope you like the track, and I hope to share much more with you very soon. Look out for my debut album, Reckless Abandon, which is out sometime this year, 2023. Um, hoping for June. But, as you can see by my whiteboard, everything's in different stages of being complete. Plus, I'm never truly happy, so we'll see. <laughs> Thank you for watching.